Have you ever been stopped in your tracks by a do these five exercises to get a chiseled physique style post on social media? I have. I think it was 2018 I had adopted the nickname Pizza Face or Brace Face by my own father. Looks was, you know, I didn't have a lot going for me. And while all my mates were getting into relationships, playing console tennis in the schoolyard, the only woman that I'd ever kissed was my mum. Or oh, my nan. She's dead now though. I didn't kiss my nan when she was dead, by the way. I mean, when she was alive, just thought I'd clarify that. Not even the Lynx Africa gift set that my mum got me for Christmas would get me a kiss at the school disco. And while all of my mates were getting girlfriends, I had my dad in my case questioning my sexuality because he'd never seen me with a girl. And that pissed me off. So being the ugly, unconfident, scrawny kid, I thought to myself, fuck you, dad. I'll get a girlfriend to prove you wrong. So with a face from Crime Watch, I needed a dead body from Baywatch to make up for what I was lacking in the looks department. So I forged my mum's signature to join the local leisure centre gym, aged 15. And I did what most guys do when they join the gym. Spending an hour in the gym corner, afraid of doing stupid, walking around, avoiding eye contact with anything with a pulse. Which, by the way, was a fucking workout in itself, right? Because back then, we didn't have mobile phones to turn to when shit got awkward. Ah, <sighs> kids these days don't know how easy they've got it, honestly. And after a few months of hitting the gym, I saw some gains. But despite making some rapid gains after a few months, I ran out of steam and my gains eventually slowed down. So I did what every fitness enthusiast did back in the day. I turned to men's health and bodybuilding magazines and websites like T Nation. And while I was looking for the secret sauce to kickstart the tiny gains that I'd already made, the magazines made out that I only needed to do five exercises to get the body of my dreams. According to the experts that I was learning from, all I needed to build muscle was to squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press, and a few chin-ups. And trouble was, I didn't know how to do those exercises. But being young, dumb, and full of cum, I went ahead and tried them anyway. And at the time, I was training at my local leisure centre gym, and the beauty of these gyms is no one knows what the fuck they're doing anyway, so no one would have called me out when looking like a bonsai tree folding in half while deadlifting. But despite following these five exercises religiously, I made absolutely no gains. And in 10 years of being a coach, I get skinny fat guys who struggle to build muscle come to me at the back of following similar exercises but barely add a pound of muscle to their doughy, slender, lanky frame. And even if they do build a tiny bit of muscle, they end up injuring their shoulders and back after a few weeks. So if compound lifts don't work for most skinny fat guys, what are the best muscle building exercises for each muscle? In this video, based on my 10 years being a coach and coaching nearly 500 skinny fat guys, I'm going to rank the exercises to blow up every muscle in your body, saving you countless hours of wasted effort and time following wanky, pointless, inefficient exercises found on social media today, so you can make every rep, set, and workout count in the gym, instead of wasting precious hours, which makes you get comments like, are you sure you're hitting the gym? Your body hasn't changed at all from your fucking mother-in-law. Now, for an exercise to rank the best, it needs to meet three criteria. Now, the first one sounds a bit boring, but the exercise must have a high safety profile. The safer the exercise, the harder guys can push themselves without getting injured, and the more muscle that they'll grow. If an exercise is hard to progress in, it won't make the top tier, because what is the point of doing the same exercise if you can only keep lifting the same weight for months on end? You'll make absolutely no gains. And the exercise must take minimal time to set up. We'll start from the top half of the body, working down to the bottom half. So let's start with the neck. If you've ever looked at a man right and thought, yeah, he looks quite manly. He's probably got a massive cock, I mean neck. So he's probably been doing neck curls. Not only do neck curls make your neck look like it belongs to a Viking, but they also prevent injuries by strengthening those tiny muscles that support your head. Simply lie down on a bench with your head hanging off the edge, hold a plate on your forehead and slowly curl your neck up and down. But I suggest starting light with these and increase the weight as your neck gets stronger. And neck curls are really easy to progress and safe when done correctly and they take almost no time to set up. Plus they'll give you that I could fucking probably headbutt through a wall look. And who doesn't want that? Now next up are the traps. Now the traps are those muscles that run down the back of your neck and stand up on top of your shoulders giving you that Tom Hardy in warrior look. To build huge traps grab a pair of dumbbells, lean forward a little bit and shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Hold for a second at the top, then slowly lower them down. The mushrooms are simple and effective, and you'll get strong at them fast. Plus, they can help with the crumbled over posture, making you look more confident. Now, moving on to the shoulders, because who doesn't want broad looking shoulders? Now, whether you use cuffs or a handle, these exercises are the king for wide shoulders, but because they're the only muscle that targets your side delts. So stand with your feet slightly narrow at the shoulder width apart. Imagine you're pouring a milk carton at the top and lower it back down slowly. And that's how you perform 
the lateral raise. Now the chest is the muscle that most guys want to grow because let's face it, a solid chest is rather impressive. Now there are countless tools that can grow your chest, but by far the safest, most efficient and easiest way to get a big chest fast is any horizontal chest pressing machine. This is virtually no stability required, which means beginners can push themselves really hard and get gains out of the block by using the chest press machine. Now if you want that V taper look, then you've got to hit your lats. And my personal favourite has to be any back movement that gets you to stretch the lats, which is why the half kneeling cable row gets my win for this. It's super easy to set up, it's safe, and all you have to do is row with your lats. Remember, don't yank. You're not training for the lawnmower Olympics. Then get your lats to stretch at the top, rinsing and repeating the movement. Now for abs, right, unlike exercises like the plank, which is useful for building a strong core, but useless for developing thick abs, you need an exercise that trains your abs and doesn't aggravate your lower back. And with ab exercises, you will be limited, but there are two standout contenders, and I really couldn't pick a winner between these two, if I'm honest, because I love both of these ab exercises the same. Which is why the hanging leg raise and cable crunch is my best ab exercises. Now, if your gym doesn't have a leg raise machine, you can simply lie on a bench, grab the top for support, and just bend your knees, bringing your knees into your chest, lifting your hips off the bench for the crunch, and then slowly lower it back down and repeat. Now, if you get any pain in your lower back, the cable ab crunch is another solid alternative. Now, to build those strong aesthetic rear ends, for me personally, the deadlift and Romanian deadlift hit my glutes and hamstrings. But with them taking so long to learn and the risk profile being high, they're pretty useless for skinny fat beginners who want to make gains fast. Which is why for ease, safety and ability to progress, you don't need to look any further than the hamstring hill. You can perform these seated too, and while they won't smash your glutes, they will hit your hamstrings. And unlike squats, which can be hard to master and put strain on your back, for quads, nothing beats the leg press, hack squat, or pendulum squat. For this video, though, we'll focus on the leg press because most gyms have them. The leg press allows you to safely push heavy weights without risking injury, so long as you don't let your lower back excessively round at the bottom. Sit in the machine with your feet shoulder width apart, lower the platform until your knees are at a 90 degree angle, and then push back up. And this exercise is really good for isolating quads. You can even maneuver your feet to target different parts of your legs. Generally, the higher the one wider you go, the more hamstring and glutes you'll hit, and the lower and narrower you'll go, the more of your quads you'll activate. Now let's talk about the most neglected muscle in the gym, along with forearms, and that is calves. Now if your gym's got a leg press, you can perform calf raises in the leg press. Just make sure that you train them properly using a light weight, taking the calf through a, through a full range of motion. Now this is going to sound controversial, but these exercises are absolutely pointless because you can do them until the cows come home, but unless you include them in a methodical program while applying the four muscle building principles, you won't grow any muscle at all. Which is why over on my Instagram page, I've created a free program for skinny fat guys and a huge bonus video that breaks down the single most important principle that builds muscle. So make sure you head over to my Instagram page, drop me a follow and comment muscle on the post and my AI chatbot will send you over everything that you need to know about how to add five pounds of muscle to your frame in the next eight weeks. Thanks for your time and attention as always, and I'll see you in the next video.